In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play the G chord. I'm also gonna give you some tips on how to make it a little easier on yourself and also an easy version that you can try until you can get that full chord out. As you can see, we are using three fingers. Fingers one, two, and three. Those numbers that are on the screen are actually the finger numbers you will use and it shows you on the chart where to put your fingers inside the fret and then also what string to put it on. Let's start with our first finger in the second fret on the fifth string. Then we add our second finger on the sixth string in the third fret. And then way down here, we add our third finger on the first string in the third fret. Now that can feel really awkward when we build it that way. So we can also just start with our third finger on the first string in the third fret and then add each finger accordingly, the first finger on the fifth string in the second fret and then the second finger on the sixth string in the third fret. What's cool about G is you can play all six strings. Make sure you're getting all six strings all the way down. If you're hearing a muted sound like this, it's not ringing completely, figure out why. Well, that's the, that's the fifth string. Maybe I'm not pressing my first finger down hard enough or my second finger could be blocking it. In this case, yes, that's the way it was. So I adjust my fingers accordingly, pushing them up and then as beginners, we tend to lean our guitar back to look at our fingers, to add our fingers to the guitar. So make sure that before you start strumming, you put your guitar back to parallel to your body, even though you can't see your fretboard as well, to strum because that'll make it easier to get all six notes out. An alternative to the full G is the easy G. I still recommend practicing the full G because it's full and gorgeous, but in the meantime, as a beginner, sometimes we just want something to make us happy and just play the guitar already. So taking these two fingers off and just using that third finger in the third fret on the first string. And yeah, the third finger, just because I want you to get used to playing it there because the full chord is like this. You can use your first finger, but to eventually build to that, use your third finger. And strum from the fourth string down. It's not as full, it's not as beautiful, but it's an alternative that you can use while you are just getting used to playing the guitar. If you enjoy our content and want more help, we do offer memberships right here on YouTube. So check it out in the link in the description. Also, any chord chart that you need is right there in the description as well as printable downloads for free. Also, we have a carefully curated email series, depending on your level, that comes straight to your inbox so that you can go from step to step to step, building the foundation of guitar as you go. So make sure to check out our website and sign up for that. If you like our content, make sure that you subscribe and hit the get notifications so you can see more where this came from.